guys, good morning. Look who I'm with, mom. We are in Boston this morning and I got in late last night. That was like the beginning of, beginning of my vlog. But today we're going to get coffee at Tate and breakfast and then we're just gonna kind of like explore. We're going to a Red Sox game tonight. They're playing the Yankees, but we crashed our work trip. Yeah, I'm here for work, but neither of us have ever been to Boston. So it'll be really fun to just have a new experience. But yeah, let's get into today's vlog. Yeah. It's a little area called what? We're going to Back Bay, which is like where the street that everyone like loves is called um, Newberry Street. Oh, okay. And there's like just stuff to see and shop yeah. and Breakfast do whatever. And shopping. Is there newberries there? There might be. There might berries. be blueberries. <laughs> blueberries or newberries? Or raspberries. There you go. That should be fun, huh? That looks much taller than you. Can you trust in me? to the Isabella Gardner Museum. Yeah, it's the museum that there was a heist. Yeah, if it was back in the day, I would have been with him. It wasn't back in the day. <laughs> I, I would have been with him. <laughs> you want to watch the video while you're... Yeah, the art's missing, so we're going to walk over there. We're still in Newberry Street. Bikes? We've just been kind of like shopping around and hopefully get on some city bikes and like bike on our way there through like the park or garden or whatever. I don't know. Anyway. lunch the museum was so cool and just such like a cool story and I'm glad we stopped but we are at Greco which is like a Greek um, Mediterranean place so we got some chicken Slovakia and whatnot but I love this street it's like the perfect weather too but I'm so excited to eat this we're gonna eat this and then we're gonna go to the game later. oh my god go Red Sox or Yankees I don't know I started eating Greek food and getting the tomatoes and they done made it personal. <laughs> and done, you got a stain on your shirt. They done got the juices flowing through those tomatoes right from the backyards <laughs> of Boston Vineyards and they done made it personal. What were your thoughts on the, the dinner or the lunch? Whatever. Lunch is good. It's on a scale of 1 to 10 of Greek food. It's about a 6. Oh, I thought it was like a 9. That is so funny. Yeah. It's about a 6. About a 6. That was good. Light 6. Light 6. Uh, museum. You know, I'll tell you one thing about that museum. It was definitely a piece of art everywhere you looked. It was, it was very historically, I don't even know, it was breathtaking. You walked in and it was like, wow, one piece to another piece, boom, boom. Wait, what was your favorite? Is that why you were on the phone? My favorite part about, yeah, I was on the phone. I was handling some business while I was out here. My favorite part of the whole museum? Yeah. Probably the atrium. And then I also like the handwritten letters. The letters are just with the little scribe and... That's cool. What's That's your nice. favorite part? My favorite part? Yeah. The story behind the, how it all came about. Oh, they're here. Oh, our Uber's here. Okay, super, super, super. All right, let's go. Okay guys, we're running a little behind, but we're going to the baseball park. We changed, we took a nap, and the sun is setting, and the game is going to start soon, so we're so excited. Anyway. You have a household... with every single 
single person we've Price. ever even locked oh, well, eyes on this whole trip. So <laughs> that's Phil for you. All right. We just got our ice cream to end off the night back on Newberry Street and the game was fun. What did you guys think of the game? So fun. So fun? Very the cool. New York junkies. The New York junkies. <laughs> <laughs> what were you going to say? The stadium was very like nostalgic like American baseball. Loved it and the people were really fun. Yeah. And um, the Yankees fans came out and they showed up and they, and they said we're going to New, New York. York! Cheers. We'll see you guys it's, in the morning. They said, start spreading the news. <laughs> see you in the morning. Um, Cambridge this morning and we're kind of walking around this, Harvard. This really is the guy. He's here right now. This is the guy. For books? Yes. Like, I'm being honest, like if there's one dude I would ever refer you to. It's him? No, this is the guy. Okay. Like, this is the... He's the, the guy. No, this is the guy that literally I would re recommend. Anyway, if but... there's one dude in business, he's going to be a billionaire in the next few years. Okay. Anyway, um, we came over to Cambridge and we're kind of walking around Harvard. We went to Bluestone Lane for coffee and breakfast this morning. Um, and then we're going on like a little tour or something around one. So we're just kind of like walking around Harvard and it's so cute and it's so perfect for fall. And I have my Boston Birkenstocks on so I'm just really in the vibe. But yeah, we're at the bookstore now and then we're going to go on the tour. It's been a good morning though. You feel a little bit clearer? Of course. One of those Bibles have ever seen. What about them though? That means you're getting old. It's I didn't realize true. that my vision was blurry until I put those on. It's not blurry. <laughs> Yours isn't. <laughs> on life is he's not happy you cannot be happy unless you're growing, growing or giving, giving. So, so that's what we're gonna do take that advice he said so. yeah he's a very cool guy he anyway and now we're going to our little tour but it was, that was and now i'm gonna sign that up was amazing i'm gonna sign up for a class somewhere were you inspired super inspired that's your friend not, okay. yeah not by the school but by what it has to offer the entrepreneurial side but yeah i was super inspired Casey Baugh's a good dude. He's got a lot of uh, wise words and wisdom for some for some people to be successful. Fair. We are in North 
friends. We just got dinner at Artu. It's A R T U. It was a really good Italian place, and like there's this really cute square where everyone's <laughs> sitting outside um, and having dinner. But it's really cute. And now we're just walking around and we're trying go to, to Mike's Bakery. We heard that's really good. Oh, is that where we're going? We're gonna get a dessert. Yep. But it's so cute. I actually really am enjoying this. And it's also just like I, I think I said this earlier, but like it's like fall, and it's really setting the fall vibes for me. I feel like we feel I'm in like, like we're back in Italy. It's I, perfect. No, I feel like I'm in Gilmore Girls. And I watched that, but it sounds awesome. Yeah, I wouldn't have expected you to watch it, but so cute and the, the brownstones I'm obsessed I just right. wish there was more fall leaves we gotta go the other way <laughs> let's see we got the black and white cookie the chocolate size the best really okay. delicious another great day in Boston oh um I think we're gonna just walk around this area and then go back to the hotel and then tomorrow is my work day so I have to wake up early or maybe tonight I might go over Where'd to my other hotel. Uh, going to where we were at. I, I just got to my second hotel. My parents are back at the other hotel. They're leaving really early tomorrow morning. And I'm shooting a wedding tomorrow. Um, which is like the whole reason why I'm in Boston. And it's kind of a little bit out of the city. Um, well, a lot out of the city. And so I had my hotel booked for tonight and tomorrow night so i thought i would just come out here early and then that way tomorrow i have a little bit more time in the morning to get ready for everything but anyway i'm dead tired i like literally just sat on my phone for like way too long um but i'm gonna go to bed it's such a fun day today i really liked going to dinner in the north end that was really cool um and fun like cute little spot but anyway it's been so fun in boston i'm here for Basically tomorrow I go home on Sunday at like my flights at like 11 a.m. And I have a layover in New York and then I fly back to Chicago. But anyway, um, yeah, I'll see you guys in the morning. Good morning. Today is the day of the shoe of the wedding day. And um, I don't have to be there until noon. So I kind of have the morning to just do whatever, which is really nice. But... I just changed into some leggings and I'm gonna walk to Starbucks. I can literally see the Starbucks from here. Um, and I also think there's breakfast in my hotel, so I might do that or just get something from Starbucks if I'm feeling it. Um, but I might go there and just kinda like get some things done on my computer. I'm literally in Foxborough, Massachusetts, which is like the only thing here is the Patriots, like Gillette, I think is what it's called, Stadium. And there's like little things around, but there's not much here. So like it's my hotel, I can see the stadium, I can see like Starbucks, a CVS, like there's a few things in this vicinity. There is a Trader Joe's across the way that I could like go get snacks and stuff for later. But there's not much around here. Um, it's like definitely not Boston. I'm gonna come back and get ready for the wedding. And yeah, so basically today is like my last day in Boston, which I'm really excited about. So yeah, let's go. I honestly think I'm gonna end the vlog right here. It's been such a fun past few days in Boston. I still need to put on my lipstick um, before I go. But yeah, it's been so great. I just am gonna be working all day. So I'm like, it's not really, I don't have time to vlog to be honest. And then I get up tomorrow and I head back to Chicago. Fingers crossed that my flight doesn't get delayed or canceled and everything goes well. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this vlog. I feel like I'm gonna come back to Boston eventually. Um, I really liked it. Yeah, such a good time. I'm so glad my parents were able to join me. But yeah, I will see you guys in the next vlog. And yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.